Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, it's good to be with you today. We are in Dallas, Texas. Uh, that's about an hour from our home. And um, we are getting ready to go into the Southwest RV Super Show in Dallas, Texas. So we, uh, we posted this video uh, while the RV show is going on so that you can, hopefully if you're in the North Texas area or in Oklahoma and you want to zip down here this weekend to see the Super Show, uh, we're going to let you know what's going on. So uh, if there's something you want to see, you can. So uh, I think we should get inside there and take a look. What do you think? Yeah, if we find any um, rigs, we might take a few uh, a few pictures or a video of, of the rigs so you can come check it out yourself. Yeah, and uh, we're going to check out with, with the vendors to see what they've got going on to see uh, if we can... Uh, see some new products and uh, hopefully uh, be able to make some recommendation going forward with that. So we're hoping more rides here so we can talk to them about independent suspension and any other new stuff they have going on for 2025. And hopefully the RVs inside are 2025 models, they're not 2024 closeouts. So, but we'll check it out and let you know um, here in just a little bit. Ready to go? Yeah, sure am. All right, where do you want to start? Right here. <laughs> well, it's a motorhome. I'd like to see. I'd like to see what this is first. It's. Forza. I've never even heard of it. I don't know. Let's walk around front. Who makes this? Sure. Winnebago makes this. This is a Winnebago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's a Winnebago. Five point nine nine. Uh, see if I can back up a little bit. So the seminar, seminars are offering today are five things you need to know before you buy an RV, getting to know the most out of your RV kitchen, from coast to canyon, discover Texas state parks, um, on the weekends, they also have five things about camping, and then there's one for today, bolts, amps, and purple monkeys, and then on the weekend, they're having another one, um, the Coast of Canyon Discover Texas State Park, so that's more in the evening, five, six. So okay. here's a little, yeah, it's a little, a little schedule of all mm -hmm. the different. Yeah, and the, sh and the show times, um, there is a, a little variation on when they end, so this is going to be going out tonight, so. Um, so this is McLean's RV. So we'll uh, just kind of do a little walk around. There's the United RV. Looks like they're, they're stepping up their, their fiberglass fronts, huh? Yeah, maybe. Let's walk down. $249.99. Regularly $192.99. Hmm. You don't currently have a camper? Do we want the to have a camper? Do we currently have one? Yeah, we have a yeah. 2019 Montana. Okay, yeah. so you're going to need the physical version. We do have a, uh, a ladder on it already. Yeah, but. Yeah. So these are really designed for their. Now we have the in it. Um, There's actually a block up there already that kind of catches it. Mm -hmm. And it also gives you that height above it. That is, you know, gives you enough to be able to walk up the ladder and still be able to get on the roof and then come back down without tripping over your own feet or anything like that. Are you okay being on our YouTube channel? Uh, I guess I'm okay with it. Okay, because no, okay. if not, how do you get some <laughs> 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 so this is Sam from United RV. So nice we just kind of we just came in and we wanted to check out what was going on in here. And uh, so I guess my wife saw Stephanie saw the the ladders that we probably do need. Mm -hmm. So this is probably the one that because this one goes up to 14 four, yeah. 14 feet six inches, it wouldn't be the other one wouldn't be tall enough. So so this one's uh, the sale price is one is two ninety nine ninety nine, whereas the regular trailer one is two forty nine forty nine. So if you guys need a ladder, 
come down to the show and get one from Sam. Leopard Products is really a uh, good good product, good good uh, on a lot of different. So is this part items. of United Art Party over here? Yeah, as soon as you came across that piece of the car, welcome oh, to okay. United. <laughs> uh, well, thanks, Sam, for helping. I would like to show y'all something, though, as yeah, far as please. the application of it, you know. So, these are coming on the units already. Oh, so, so we don't have one of those on So, ours. those ladders are specific for oh, oh, those preps. Oh, that's great. That's okay. great. So, that's if, you great. Have the, if you have the travel trailer, it's going to be the 12.6. If you have the fifth wheel, it'll be the 14.6. So, what about if you have a trailer that doesn't have one of these on it? Well, for right now, they're not offering these blocks in the aftermarket okay. because you can't be assured that there's actually backing for it in the trailer. So screw in, you go to climb it, it's going to be unsafe because it's just going to come right out the wall. Okay. So you've got to make sure that there's something, a backer back there. Well, thanks Sam, because I know our viewers will be interested in, in knowing that, that yeah. fact. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. thank you so thanks, much. Sam. Okay. You too. Do they have, they have that on the trailer where there's the fifth wheel ones too or just the trailer? That was the one that we looked at was the fifth wheel one. Yeah, the fifth wheel one does have that. Yeah. It's just the trailers that have a block. No, tip wheels have a block too, but oh, okay. they don't come with a ladder, so they're coming yeah. with that block in the okay. back. So, okay. uh, all right, okay. let's see. Well, let's take a look at this 24 foot surveyor 42 to 977, MSRP is 61001. So, let's take a look inside. Head down. Yeah, look here. Okay. Let's go find us. So this is a nice 24 foot yeah. camper. Forest River. A little higher. Oops, I dropped. All right. I dropped. Power to the power level. So there's United RV. Scroll down here so you can see their address. They're in Fort Worth, so not too far from us. So I'm grabbing one of these too. All right. Go ahead. All right, so let's go take a look at this Catalina. So the first thing I notice when I come in here is the stairs going up to the loft. And that loft. Basically just a queen bed. It looks like a queen or a king bed up here. It's a king bed. So not an older couple's rig. Not one that I'd probably be able to get in and out of bed from. I have to come downstairs, but we'll kind of go through this. That's kitchen. 
little bit of storage with a combo washer dryer and it looks like a dishwasher. A GE refrigerator. None of these are slides, so this is wide open already. And then the shower. Not bad. And back up here. Because there's another loft up top in the back. And there's a ladder to get up in there from the living room area. So for the family. So this is a, a nice rig if you're a young family. RV weekend. So we're going to check out this Keystone hideout. This is kind of a similar product. So we want to go in and check it out. Fourteen thousand nine nine five pounds, and it looks like under here this for them. Well, that's great. So it's got a solar package. Wow, that's nice. And at least one battery, but room for more. All looks, kinds of room in here. Looks like there's two in there, maybe. Yeah. Isn't that two? I think. No, there's one battery in there, and that is oh, not it's, lithium. Oh, but I hopefully see. Yeah. Get lithium in there. If you wanted, yeah. Yeah.
it's all good. These are long drops, man. So, normally 102, two, uh, 102, 330, and it's 79,969. Uh, well, let's go. Let's see what else we got. And then just run the partial. Yeah, just run the partial and leave a copy. Well, this looks like a little bigger unit. Let's see which model number this is. So this is a 32, 324 MBS mid bunk. So let's take a peek at it. Yeah. First of all, what's the, what's the price on it? So the MRSRP is at $86,348 and they're selling it for $64,994. Yeah, there was, there was already some... So let's take a peek at these ROG units. It's pretty oh, small. Pretty if you're out there, you think you're at HEB or something? You're at HEB ROG. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a price on this, but it's a 24 okay. no, I don't, ROG, a 14 footer. There's a floor plan right there on that too, on the Scantron thing. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to see, you can scan that.
name's Susana. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. I'm the Community Relations Specialist for Cedar Hill State Park. All right, so this is, we're talking to her about today about Texas State Parks. Yeah. And Texas has a lot to offer. Um, you look here at the map, and she just explained all this to us, but there's all the different colors. But if you do want to check out the Texas State Parks, there's their website and their phone number for reservations and we're going to start checking out a lot of these parks ourselves so we actually are grateful that we came by yeah we got 89 of them so definitely like you've got a you've got a whole texas bucket list here to see and do so i have right. a question for you yes, if you're not military and you don't get it for free how much does it cost your average person to use it so average between any of the parks uh, entrance fees can be anywhere from five to seven dollars mm -hmm. however we do have an annual pass that is seventy dollars and it's a great like it's a great thing to have because it covers yourself and everybody in your vehicle oh. so mm -hmm. and veterans are free Emergency response, or they also like No, unfortunately, we don't have anything like that. Um, most parks do have a partnership between any of the you know police departments that are close by, and local they'll wind ones. up doing trip. Yeah, right, yeah, local, local ones, one. so they'll get a chance to come in. They will also just come in, you know, take a break within our parks too, because our uh, our first responders do need a moment to have some mindfulness as well. Right. So, right. if you're from out of state, is there a difference? Nope. Okay, that's Different. good to know. So y'all gotta come down and visit us in Texas. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. All right, so here we are at the uh, we're at the Heritage Coffee booth here at the at the show. So guys, what's going on here with Heritage Coffee? Tell us about it. Heritage 1857, where premium Vietnamese coffee. All of our products are sourced directly from Vietnam, which is the number one exporter of robusta beans. And these are all of our instant coffee mixes and as well as our, uh, our roast. So beans. These, these are actually coffee makers? Or are they just... Uh, no, just instant coffee and then we have our beans. Oh, so that's just a hot water holder then. Okay, yes. so, and it's all instant coffee. Yes, yes it's all instant coffee. The uh, sticks or the coffee comes in small packet like this. Okay. There's 32 in a box. Right. Each box also has a cup. And our coffee only needs three ounces of hot water. Three ounces of three, hot water? Yes, three ounces of hot water. Now, if you like iced coffee, you can put about two ounces of ice in there and uh, drink it uh, ice with ice that way. Okay. So makes a really good uh, cup of coffee. Don't need very much of it. With a high in caffeine content? Well, I will Is it say... like an espresso or...? No, nah, it's not quite as uh, high as an espresso. Okay. Yeah. So, so I have a question. If somebody wanted to go to your website, www.heritage1857.com, could they order this coffee off of there? Yes. Oh, let's check out the back so we can get their website on the channel there. So there you go. For more information, there's their website right there. Check out Heritage Coffee. Thanks guys, good luck. All right, thank appreciate you it, thank you. Yeah. And thank you for your service. Oh, you're welcome, thank you. And also, military, first responders, police, fire, and teachers get a uh, discount when they go on our website. Okay. Uh, there is a link on there. Uh, just click the uh, link for your discount and we'll apply a discount for your purchase. All right, Sounds thank great. you for that. Okay, thank you. Channel, if I'm not mistaken. You may have. Yes. Okay, so hey guys, this is Lazlo, and we are here at the last RV roof you'll ever need at RV Solutions. And they are a uh, repair facility that is actually really close to where we live. Yeah. Uh, They're down awesome. near Alvarado, Texas. And uh, so we're actually going to schedule a little repair that we really need to get done that I don't want to do right at this moment in time. But, uh, as I want you to tell a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I started this business about 12 years ago, uh, myself in a truck, and I wanted to change the way that RV repair and maintenance uh, was being brought because every time you go to a dealership it's sit there and you know it'd be a couple months before you get any answers so we always want to try to get to everybody's uh, repairs within five days and get back to the customer and we just want to do you know the best that we can for everybody every day all right that's great he's got a great roof product that they're gonna 
we're gonna look at over here that uh yeah, it's our uh, Lifetime RV Roof product. It'll be the last roof you ever need. We can do it smoother, textured. Comes with a lifetime, no leak warranty. Uh, so if you have any leaks, we do cover for the time that you own that vehicle. And it's just a, it's gonna hold up to, you know, the tree branches and scratches. I've done so many roof jobs where you just have one tree and they just happen to ruin. It costs ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 to get a new roof. We wanted to find a product where we could put it on there to where it'd be able to withstand that. And we've had, you know, really good luck with this product. We enjoy it a lot. What's yeah. made out of? It is a pure polyurea coating. Um, it's an A and B mixture at the gut. So it's a, it's, here's an example right here. The reason I went with this product, because I was looking for a franchise and I found the guy in San Antonio. His name is Jared Halfley. And he brought us, so as you can see, how flexible this product is. That's what I wanted. There's other people out there that do some spraying. Their stuff is hard as a rock, and that's not what I was wanting to look for. I was wanting to look for something that's going to move and flex with these boards as we go down the road, because that's the number one thing that I've always seen out there. Okay. Do you have a YouTube channel? I don't have a YouTube channel, but we're me and my wife are doing a podcast here pretty soon. So okay. Do website? That. I do have a website. Website is uh, qualityrvsolutions.com. And um, how long have you been doing this? I've been spraying this product for about two years. Our franchisee's been doing it since 2005, so we've got a lot of research and development and why we're here and what we're doing here. And they don't spray this on top of your current roof, they strip yeah. the roof off. Stripping it down to the wood, we don't want to put it on your existing roof. Can I say your warranty again? I have a lifetime no leak warranty, so if you have any leaks, you call us, we take care of it. And we're also putting the skylight on top for you so that we give that option. So that's the only thing you would ever have to take care of. So if a customer was in Colorado or we're in Texas and they need to change out that skylight, we recommend you can put the skylight on top. We spray everything inside the roof so if you ever did get a leak in that skylight, it would protect the inside of that structure and it would just go down into the shower. So what about solar panels? Solar panels, what I like to do, you can add on any time and do a spray in. But if I'm doing the solar panel, I'll take your existing ones and we'll spray them into where all screw heads are covered. So at any time you leave our facility, every screw has been covered with our products and you have no way of getting any uh, moisture or rain in there. Okay. So. Alright, thanks Nelson. Alright, thank you sir. This is the 3941 front office. It's going to be headed out to do work on the road and you need a little bit of privacy. See that door right there? It's actually a barn door style. And these aren't all the way open, these slides, you know, they're, they're not all the way. Take a peek. Out front. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Let's see, they've got, oh, it looks like a pin board, is what that looks like. Sure enough, 
there's outlets on both sides of the desk and looks like there is a blackout shade a little bit of storage lots of storage very nice it would be a good place to spend your day working nice view out the window yeah, nice view out the window I don't know, the, the, the furniture's comfortable. Want to trade in our 3931? No. No? <laughs> no? I haven't looked at the price of this thing yet. Well, so. that's not even it. It's just, even though the office would be wonderful. I like our art in general. One thing that I do like about it, they have nice, it has nice candles and a window over there in the hallway. You know, going up and down the stairs, but we only have one set of stairs to have to worry about going up and down once you're in the rig. Yeah. And uh, I don't really see any USBs by the bed. I there was. They out. had them. Huh? Had, oh, back here? Yeah, by the bed. The slide's not all the way out, but I only see a regular outlet there, and I'm not sure on the other side if there's one on the other oh, side or not. Oh, the other one across the way did have slide outs, but I can't, I don't see a slide out. Pardon me, sorry. Had USBs. I can't even talk anymore. All right. That's the one you drive. Yeah. So even though that that's dirty clothes hamper or storage for toilet paper or whatever there. So that's it on the closet. Little shelves above. Um, wait, there's oh, USBs. Oh, there's the USBs up, yeah. up top. And we just found them at the same time and, and some outlets too. Yeah. It's good for a CPAP machine or something like that. Yeah. And is there drawers underneath this one or is it lift up? I don't know. Let me find out. You want to hold the camera? Yeah. And it's a lift up. Yeah, but it goes pretty much to where the bus can go. Yep. And uh, it has its own unit. Air conditioning unit. Yep. Trying to look to see if there's a. So this is the heater is for the entire rig. Okay. This thing I like. I like the black. I like the. I like the um, shower. This goes way back, way back, way back. Storage. Yeah, way back. Let me get the camera in there. Yeah, and this doesn't open because it's not way. Right. The uh, plumbing on that one comes down quite quite a bit, but there's still room for something. But the small trash can, which they left a spot over there for the trash can, so I would put something else over the trash can. Way back. Hello, hello. Yeah. This is a Montana, the Montana front office. So this pulls out. Uh, yeah. I like the color. And this pulls out. So you have the extra counter space. Um, we have just regular plugs there. Yeah. Over there and there. These have shelves in them. These two both are like that. And this one has no shelf in the middle. But it's nothing locking it. These look like they're the same. They're not, they're not putting the convection uh -huh. microwaves in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, let's go check out more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this sale price for this rig is $104,995. Normally sells for $141,070. You can pick this up at Holiday World and uh, you can hit the uh, QR code to see where they're located. And there's a brochure. Did you want to do the high? Let's take a quick peek at the outside storage.
look at Montana High Country right here. Here's the sale price right now, $79,997. if you have 30 percent now.
Yeah, this is a 3395 MS. This is a little bit larger. It has the generator. There's an Norad hitch and the Norad steps, which are not the other ones are the folding kind. And this is the 395 MS. $110,000 on this unit. So get it for $154,995. These are really top of the line for people who want to full time, full time. So if we were to sell our home and our, and our oldest child, maybe we could afford it. We wouldn't sell our oldest child. You wouldn't sell our oldest child? No. Okay. How about our youngest? No. No? Okay. I guess not. So let me take a look around the outside so this is where you can see really good craftsmanship on these the wiring is all run together so there is a generator prep for this one and you'll see all of these have the pull
pull, not the twist, but the pull handles. So this would be where the generator would go. And then the next one is the battery bank. You come pull on this handle for me. It has a Moride uh, hitch. Yeah. So now this is really nice. I really like how this is split. You can put up to four batteries right here and your hydraulic system and then your uh, inverter over here. All right. Nice heavy door. Let me get off my knees now. All right. So this is what they're known for. Look how nice and clean that is. That's a real manifold, guys. Let's see if I can get in there so you can see it. This is how an RV should be done. That's probably leveling system. Nice. And uh, auto level. They have the, they still have the poles there. They don't have the This buttons. is uh, a suburban on-demand water heater. Stereo shower, gray flush, black flush. Yeah. We'll have to look at the stats on the probably the tanks on. Those are lights. Yeah. I see the cameras. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so this has a rear bedroom. And it's got the different woods, cabinetry painted white, the island is a dark walnut. Not dovetail, but okay, they're wrong. Is there a spot for a dishwasher? Is the dishwasher correct? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. A lot of these are that for a dishwasher. It's a Sydney four runner. So the trash can back here, there's a door on the right of it. Alright, let's go explore this bedroom back right here. Wow. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So that disappears when you close the door, and there's a plug back in the back. Yeah, but I can find it with the plug. And there's one plug back here to the bottom. How about that? Yeah. Want to see? Yeah. There's no plug. Yeah, 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 I'm surprised you didn't make one open the other. Oh, this, this isn't open. Oh, this isn't open. Well, we'll get that suggestion. These are somewhat customizable. Let's see what's back here. Oh, my word. So, this is a half bath with washer dryer right there. What's this? My DRV free mobile app for the owners. Oh, my. This is very different. I wasn't expecting this. They can go. So, two beds, two twin beds. So, Jesse and Bill. So, I suppose this is your family. You could. This could be your schooling area. Mm hmm. Let's see your doors. They're not real. They're not real. Deep. They're not real. Deep. So you're not too close to the So you got to see a couple kids you're out on the road. Two teenagers, you know? teenagers, yeah, so you could buy like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, most of us could be in these Yeah. You know, really. Right. Let's go home. These are nice steps. You're solid. You're going to trip on them. You know? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe.